My name is Annette Jeninga. I work for COIN, and COIN is an uh, association that is specialized in creating uh, complementary currencies, currencies for different goals, like uh, for a social goal or a sustainable coal. A coal. Um, and uh, in the past 12 months, I've been working on uh, a trade exchange organization. Um, so I've been building uh, a network of, of businesses and we now have a business network of 180 um, businesses in the area around Amsterdam in the Netherlands and they are doing business with each other and they pay each other with a virtual, a digital currency. That's what we do. And I, you know, I'm here to tell about that and to uh, let the people in Sweden know what this could mean for their, uh, for their local economy. Well, you have corporate bartering and retail bartering. Corporate bartering is bartering between big companies, um, uh, mainly in media, for example. Uh, you, you can um, uh, make big deals for uh, for advertisements and, and stuff. And you have retail bartering, and that's you know the the small and the the, the medium and uh, the small and medium enterprises. Um, well, Tradecoin has a very positive effect on the, the local economy. Um, uh, we, we focus on the uh, the overcapacity that that businesses have, like uh, the the restaurant that has five tables that are empty, or the hotel that has ten rooms that are not booked, or uh, the lawyer that has like ten billable hours a month that are not sold. Um, and uh, this is what we do: the 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 part that businesses do not. Have, do not sell uh, within the euro market or the crown market. Um, uh, we use to buy with each other, and you know, with a mut it's a mut mutual credit system. So um, you are allowed to be to have a negative balance, and uh, in order to uh, to compensate your negative balance, the only thing that you have to do is sell your stuff, your your your. Um, uh, products and services within a network. If you have a positive balance, then you really need to spend it because Tradecoin is not doing anything for you when it's there in your bank account. Uh, it's doing something for you when you're spending it and you're saving euros or crones. Um, so then you get more profit. So that's what it does. And, and um, the, the nice thing about Tradecoin is that you, can, uh, you cannot buy Tradecoin. You have to earn them within the network. And you cannot sell them. You have to uh, spend them within the network. So it's, uh, it has a bigger impact, influence on the, on the local economy than the krone or the euro does because you, you really, you're bound to spend local with a trade coin. So it, it you know, it, it uh, makes uh, sure that you get a more resilient and stable uh, local economy. Yeah. I think they could. Um, I mean, uh, local governments, you know, they they are. Um, it's important for them to have a good, stable uh, local economy. Uh, the small and medium enterprises take care of like 75 to 80 percent of employability. So if they are flourishing, it means that the local economy is flourishing. So uh, yes, I, I could see that they would take part in this and be willing to invest in this because it's good for for uh, the community. Okay. Yeah. Well, they could do barter deals on their own, only the, the problem is that if you, um, you have to find someone that ha wants to make a trade with you. So person A has to want something and he has to give something to person B that he really needs. So to find someone is is sometimes really difficult and then when you make that trade the trade should be of the same value is a cow the same value as a goat <laughs> like we did in the back back in the days or is um, a representation in court by a lawyer the same value as the reconstruction of the garden you know where the office of the lawyer is so it that it uh, a barter is, is al it's always difficult to, to find your right trade and within the network it doesn't matter to whom you trade because you know it's covered by a currency so if I um, if I offer something to person A, person A does not have to buy back from me but could buy back from person C, D or X, it doesn't matter so it makes trading easier. Uh, 
uh, well, it's the oldest network in Europe, uh, and I think the oldest network in the world. It's been there for uh, 80 years. They just had their 80th uh, anniversary. It's a, a mutual credit system where the Vier Bank uh, gives out uh, credit lines in order uh, for uh, other people to, to spend, and they can earn it back by uh, trading with uh, participants that, you know, it's, it's kind of the same as Tradecoin, only the system is a bit different. Yes, hopefully we will be. Yes, we plan to do that. Only Switzerland is doing it just in Switzerland. They have 60,000 participating businesses, which is 20% 20, 20 of their market, the, the, the businesses that are in Switzerland. Uh, and we are, um, we are planning to go out of the Netherlands as well. So we want to uh, build a couple of communities within the Netherlands and then go abroad to Ireland and Sweden and Germany and maybe Belgium. Yeah. could have a positive effect on the, the, the results of that businesses, those businesses. And it does have a positive effect on the region because of the fact that the, the, the trade coin goes around much more often than uh, the Krone does right now. Because, you know, we, we, I don't know about Sweden, but we in Holland, we go a lot, of, we, we buy a lot of items and goods online. And we, you know, we don't bother about the fact if it's a local business that's offering it. We, we're just looking at the price. Within Tradecoin, you're bound to buy local because, you know, you're uh, within this community. And, um, and you could go out of your community to another community, but it's not likely that you would do that very often. You might do that for a holiday or... You know, or, or on some specific item that you, that is not for sale within your uh, within your region, but yeah, that's what it does.